My name is Jim Tingey. My company is Catch and Release Artwork, and I'm a flat taxidermist. What I do is create watercolors of fish, and they become memories for the anglers who catch the fish and don't want to have it mounted or stuffed. I started painting when I was 10 years old. I was a doodler. I was a kid in the back of the classroom always drawing something. I've enjoyed painting for well over 50 years. What's fun about painting is that I can, I feel I can paint just about anything but people. And this is an example of a pheasant I just finished for some friends in South Dakota. I had an opportunity to paint a lobster and this was for the Lobster Institute. And this fellow actually was sitting on my art table alive and that's why he's green. So what people do is they find me through catchandreleaseartwork.com and they send me a picture of their fish, of their catch, and then I create a watercolor painting. What I enjoy about my artwork is that many of the finished pieces are for children and for as gifts. These are kids who have caught their first fish or, or had a great memory and a great time doing it. And this is an example of a smallmouth bass that Anna caught. And I, once I painted the smallmouth bass, then I sized it to 22 inches, which is the size of her, her catch. She has this hanging on her wall. This is actually a muskie that I caught. And it was in Lake Kawagasaga, Wisconsin. This shows the size that I can get to with a final print. I don't paint this big, but the images can be this, this large or even larger. I just retired from teaching fourth grade. And one of the joys of teaching is working with children and had an opportunity to start Trout in the Classroom through Trout Unlimited. And also had a great time teaching young people to throw a fly rod. At the conclusion of indoor sessions in the big gym, then I would take the kids actually to a lake and fish. And that was great joy to watch these young anglers, nine and 10 year olds, learning how to throw a fly rod. What's really been fun recently as an artist is to realize that the work that I'm producing, the memories that are being preserved on paper as a flat taxidermist, are going into homes where they will be looked this little artwork will be looked at for years and years and years to come. And each time, that person will remember that very special event.